So Jay, you're sporting my new Out There USA backpack that um, we got to race with at the Elk Mountain last year. Tell me what you thought of it at Elk Mountain, maybe a little bit about what other things you've been doing with it. Well, as far as the race goes, in a race like that, the coolest thing I thought was how accessible food and everything is. Um, when you have gloves on and when you're racing, obviously you don't have time to fool around. And Everything's right here, water bottles, food, even sunscreen or lip balm or anything like that is, is right there and there's no fussing around. Now you didn't take those skis with you on the Elk Mountain, did you? <laughs> Not these, no. We had uh, a little lighter, but uh, still holds, I mean these are Alpine skis and uh, you know they hold solid on the pack. So it's a light pack but still holds skis really well and uh, you know a lot of times a spring skiing you got to hike up uh, to the snow anyway and a pack that the skis are flopping around on is a nightmare and so this pack holds the skis well and um, everything's right there. About uh, what do you think of it for other applications like backpacking? Uh, yeah it's you... it's actually great it's light to where you can use it even if you just have a windbreaker or something it's not like a great big bulky pack it packs away really well if you have a small load and it had it has a lot of capacity you could do a light overnight with it um, and so it's kind of like a couple packs in one where it doesn't matter how much you have in it it rides really well yeah as a matter of fact um, talking about that backpacking it Emily my wife Emily and I last summer we took uh, two of these packs in their in their sample versions over to Aspen from Vail you know about 60 65 miles a couple night overnighter um, through all of our gear, all of our food, et cetera, in these packs, and uh, I was actually pleasantly surprised how well they, how well they carried all the gear. Uh, mm -hmm. They're basically about 30 liters internal capacity, and another 10 or so with all the mesh compartments. My favorite use is uh, is using it for fishing. I hike into some secret fishing locations. And <laughs> you won't tell us about no, those. No, I won't. But it's uh, it's a great pack. You can keep you know everything right here and. Uh, um, you hardly notice it's on, um, if you, you know, especially if you just have a few items, it uh, rides really well. Awesome. You know, I, I was talking about last year when I went over to Aspen with my wife with these things, I noticed that we tried to keep the weight down as much as we could in any area we could, and we only had one layer of padding in the, the shoulder straps, and after you know, a day or more out there with the packs on our backs, 30, 40 pounds, we felt the weight effects, and so we mm -hmm. actually doubled the layer on the shoulder section of these straps of, of the padding. So I think yeah, that's been feels, a nice little. Feels great. So where did you have everything for your overnight? Obviously, you have uh, the straps on the bottom now. Um, yeah, I didn't that... actually have this set up on there. I added this after the fact. My son used it uh, with one of his buddies uh, in a couple nights, uh, overnighter in the gore, and he said, Dad, you know, put some straps on the bottom so you can put the sleeping bag or the tent or whatever on it. And I thought, well, I'm trying to keep the weight down and less straps the better. Da, da, da. So I came up with just a couple little um, attachment points that you can put some webbing onto. And um, that's an easy system. You know, anybody that's going out there can just grab a couple webbing straps and mm -hmm. put on a tent, sleeping mat, uh, sleeping bag, whatever in there. And Jay, one of the other things that's kind of unique with this package, you turn a little bit here, um, these load lifter. Uh, suspension straps. You mm -hmm. can grab them from overhead there and tighten your pack up to whatever tension you'll prefer, either bringing the weight further, further forward or allowing it to hang back more, depending upon where you're um, most, most comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. And then we also have um, little um, tensioning straps around the waist belt. The waist belt's independently free floating within the pack, but this enables you to tighten it up and again. Um, stabilize the weight of the pack around the hip belt yep. without necessarily having to do it through tightening the waist mm -hmm. belt around your belt around your waist excuse me depending how much load you have and so forth exactly this here is actually a stowable mesh helmet flap and it actually unclips from a, a couple little d-rings here pull off the helmet and then uh, the uh, flap disconnected from its attachment D-rings and then down here there's actually a little pouch that just tucks away in and zips away. Here one of my favorite compartments and one of my favorite things to put in there food. So a big mesh compartment in the back where you can store food and a number of other items 
this here we used to call our passport pouch for adventure racing, but it actually is very useful zipper compartment mesh so you can see what's in there and we use it for a lot of different things and in this case here, nice little headlamp storage compartment. And then up top we got two separate compartments. The outer one again is mesh so you can see what's in here and, and access it if you need your teammates or uh, your hiking companion to do, access something. You can just uh, easily turn to them as I have Jay here and various items you can stow away in there. Uh, I like it a lot for items like the GPS and the spot here because you need to be able to pick up the uh, satellite signals. So that compartment works great for those. And then underneath of that, which actually is hidden with a water resistant flap, is another pouch for various items like sunglasses, compasses, etc, uh, etc. Et so tons of easy access up top. And then on the side, uh, here, these are actually straps which double as compression straps stowage in this case for a sleeping mat and then um, if you take loose both sides you can actually use it to connect a snowboard here for right over the back of the pack and then as you've seen um, we can put skis on the sides as well with these two straps here so very uh, very versatile uh, component here with these compression straps here we have a couple of equipment straps ice axe loops, uh, in this case here the ski poles are attached to there and then a little bungee attachment to secure it up top and then on this side we have the uh, standard ice axe loop just simple easy detachment and out comes your ice axe so pull that out of there and then again some more mesh compartments here are some crampons, first aid kit stowed up here again your compression strap so you can Tighten the pack down if you want to compress the load a little bit. And uh, a couple of other pretty uh, nice features. Here, a couple of color-coded zippers. The gray one here allows you to access uh, a flap, which is actually just a storage flap where we can put in various items. I, I like to keep a hat, some gloves, easy accessible items that I want to be able to manage uh, access to quick and easy. Again, another thing that we use it for in adventure racing and as well as backpacking is it's a nice map compartment. So you can stow that, those items in there and not have to rummage through the whole pack to find them. Um, another uh, zipper that I'd like to point out, which I, I'm very fond of this uh, feature here. And again, this is color coded yellow to let you know, hey, this is where you get into your main compartment of your pack. So you don't have to access through the hood and you can get to whatever your items you have stowed in the main compartment. So again, pretty uh, user-friendly feature there with that storage compartment. I'll point out a couple of the pack compartments I have on the front side here. So I like to call these my uh, accessible beaver tail pouches. So uh, and we, the reason we say beaver tail is because this is actually attached with a bungee on the back side here. It's not sewn to the main uh, backpack strap shoulder strap and the reason it isn't is because when they are sewn uh, tight to the pack it becomes a pressure point uh, with the various items that you put in there so this is kind of nice because it hangs free and it also allows easy access to your adjustment of your chest strap here so uh, kind of a nice feature that we developed for this pack and it seems to ha have tested out very well for us so anyway you got a couple of um, duplicate pouches on both shoulder straps a uh, lower one here with a little tab so you can put in various items, be it goose or uh, chapstick or you know your knife access. Again, very easy to, to access these various things. On the shoulder strap here, we have a couple of webbing straps to put your hydration tubes through both sides. And then uh, with this, I'll, I'll go into explain the fact that we have two separate hydration storage compartment, uh, bladder storage compartments. And then lastly on the front we have a couple of uh, nice easy accessible pouches that are removable. You can actually take and unvelcro this here and then it will slip off the belt. So if you decide that you don't need the extra storage for a particular application you can remove these packs. As I was talking about we have a couple of hydration storage compartments. One of the compartments is easy, so easily accessible so you don't have to take and open up the whole compartment. If you want to just have one bladder that's very easy to access, 
you just unzip the back here and then there's a little velcro tab and you can pull out your bladder. The second bladder compartment, as you see there's two access ports here for the tubes, is actually internally located in the pack and it's like most standard packs, access it to the main hood compartment and then inside of the pack again there's another velcro attachment and also inside is a separate bladder storage sleeve. So for your adventure racing types we have a nifty little compartment here where our helmet mesh flap is stowed and inside of there is our little tow line attachment so if you want to tow your companion or your teammate along it's nice and neatly tucked away.